Well, for many people living near Florida's Atlantic coast, Nicole hit while they were still recovering from Hurricane Ian. We spoke to a family just last week whose home was flooded during Ian, and they were agonizing over whether or not to put the repairs on hold until after Nicole. We continue fixing. Do I go and do I mop floors and paint walls? Do I stop? Um, I really don't know what to do. And tonight we can confirm that family's home did flood once again due to Nicole. News 6's Treasure Roberts spoke with them about their next steps. The couple can't believe this is happening to them all over again. They were actively repairing and renovating their home after Hurricane Ian. Then Nicole swept in. Now they're back at square one. The walls are soaking wet, the floor. We just bought this. It's heart wrenching, you know. Ormond Beach homeowners faced with more devastation after Hurricane Nicole came barreling in. This refrigerator. Monday, I introduced you to Lisa Chiarizzi. We canceled the um, delivery because we know there's another hurricane coming. She and her husband, Bruce, were in the process of making repairs after Hurricane Ian floodwaters ruined their home and many belongings. They've spent several nights sleeping in an RV while trying to revive their house. I was very depressed for about three weeks and I started really getting hopeful the last couple of weeks. That hope quickly faded as they anticipated more flooding from Nicole. One step forward, three steps back. What they feared most came to fruition. That got soaked. That's all got to come back out again. After intense cleaning, replacing drywall, painting, and even purchasing thousands of dollars worth of new appliances, floodwaters rushed their home again Thursday. It's painful to be in here, let alone trying to rebuild it again. And again, they feel like county and federal officials are ignoring their cries for help. All we want to do is show FEMA, show Volusia County that we're here too. This is my home and it, 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 it hurts. The flooding has been such an issue for this couple that they have even considered selling their home to FEMA. But what they really want is to be approved for funding so that they can use it to raise their home in an effort to prevent flooding in the future. In Volusia County, Treasure Roberts getting results in News 6.